on behalf of Ashton and Casey, it is my greatest pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you as we gather here today in this beautiful setting to witness and to finally celebrate the marriage of these two wonderful people. My name is Michelle Amatoy. I'm an authorised marriage celebrant and it's an absolute honour to be here today. I'd like to personally welcome Casey's parents, Susie and Jason, as well as Ashton, Jodie and Marie. A big hello goes to all of our virtual viewers that joining us from all corners of the globe. We know how bittersweet this moment is with everyone wishing we could all be together. However, and understandably, Ashton and Casey did not want to postpone being able to call each other husband and wife for one minute longer. <laughs> so Finally today, here. they stand here to give their heart and soul to their greatest loves. As I'm sure you're all aware, the recent events of the world have been somewhat of a nuisance to us all. And some of the best laid plans have had to be abandoned or radically changed. And the two people standing here have had more than their fair share of hurdles and hoops to jump through for their wedding day. And I think any couple who can endure a pandemic and come out the other side thriving is conclusive evidence that there is nothing that can tear these two apart, nor rob them of their happily ever after that we all know they so passionately deserve. Today is a celebration. It's a celebration of love, <laughs> commitment and partnership. For them, getting married means taking the next step in life with the person they love the most. It's starting a new chapter in their ever-evolving love story. It's about growing officially old together and creating a lifetime of memories to look back upon. They don't expect marriage to change their relationship at all, but just be a continuation of where they're already at, loving and supporting each other as a good team does. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, how is it possible to form a true and real connection with anyone online? Well, for these two, are quite right was the right type. Their meet cute was at the local cafe back in 2018, meeting for brekkie. Casey's first impression of Ashton Look was that now. he was handsome and she loved his American accent and little lisp. <laughs> she thought he was a gentleman and seemed genuine and kind. Ashton's first impression of Casey was that he thought she was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> reserved, a tad shy, but he could sense her fun and adventurous side. They both noted how similar their interests were. Their follow-up date found them at the local pub, where Ashton met Casey's friends. They had a wonderful night and very sore heads the next day. <laughs> Needless to say, the tick of approval was granted. After many memories were made, a year later, they decided to go on a holiday to Thailand. Little did Casey know, this would be the location of Ashton's proposal. Ashton was excited to travel and catch up with his friends from the States. As the holiday was evolving, he realized this would be the perfect opportunity to propose to the love of his, lo love of his life with everyone together. He had known she was the one for quite some time and arranged an exquisite catered dinner for the moment. As everyone sat down, ready for dinner, they went around the table where everyone made a toast. Ashton was strategically the last person to talk. He started by thanking everyone for coming and then changed gears to talk about Casey. He could barely keep it together, trying to get out the words. But he eventually asked. And albeit being speechless, Casey said a resounding yes. And they had <laughs> the most amazing night. And all those moments have led to this discernment. 
Here they are, two profess, husband and wife for real life. So give us a clap and a cheer if you think that's pretty special. <laughs> Ashton and Casey will soon say their vows before us and then exchange wedding rings. And if anyone here thinks that these two should not be wed in holy matrimony, now is the time to stand up and just make your way to the exit behind you. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Ashton, take Casey to be your wife and do you promise from this day forward to love, cherish, and respect her always? I do. Ashton, knowing Casey loves her plants, <laughs> are you willing to accept that you may occasionally catch her talking to her plants <laughs> in the sweetest baby voice? I will. <laughs> Take Ashton to be your husband. And do you promise from this day forward to love, cherish, and respect him always? I do. Casey, knowing Ashton is a bit OCD, are you willing to accept <laughs> that a life with him will be a life of extreme cleanliness with no clutter? <laughs> I will. <laughs> 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 I will now invite you both to say your personal vows to each other. Ashton, I dreamed of marrying a man that loved me for me, someone who would be caring, trustworthy and loving. Little did I know that I got the whole deal. You're everything I wanted. <laughs> You're everything I wanted in a man, but so much more. To meeting at a little cafe, sharing breakfast, to now sharing our vows. You are my best friend, my love, my partner, and most of all, my family. The moment I knew that I loved you was when we <clears throat> was when I was about to board a plane to go on a holiday. I couldn't control myself. I squeezed you so tightly and whispered the words I love you. It was so easy to fall in love with you. And I fell so fast. <laughs> there are so many words that describe just how amazing you are. But words could never be enough to tell you just how much you amaze me. You give me butterflies. You make me laugh every day. You support all my ideas and dreams. You make me the best person that I could be. You have brought pure happiness into my life. I promise to always support you, care for you, make you laugh and love you unconditionally. Casey, since the first day I met you, I knew you were the one. I've never met anyone that has so much love and affection to give. Casey, as we grow old together, I will strive towards showing my love and affection to you every day. I vow to be the best husband and promise to hopefully soon be the most dedicated father to our family. I vow to always love you and to never go to bed angry with each other. I vow to always kiss you, whether that's when I wake up, before I go to bed, to the, before I go to the gym five minutes later, when I come home from the gym an hour later, when I get ready for work 20 minutes later, when I leave for work 30 minutes later, when I come home from work, before I go to the toilet, before you go to the toilet, whenever you or I are leaving the room. I vow that the first thing I do every morning will be to kiss you good morning, and the last thing I do each night will be to kiss you good night. There are so many things that I love about you. I adore your loving and affectionate nature. Thank you for teaching me how to grow in these areas. I love your generosity and your selflessness. 
I love the little voices you make, whether that's talking to your plants or talking to random animals as we pass by them. Thank you for always being true to yourself and for just being you. I would now like to invite the Lord of the Rings, Jody, <laughs> to please come forward to present the rings. And Ashton, when you're ready, please take the KC ring and you can put a ring on it. Well done. And Casey, when you're ready, um, please take Ashton's ring and pop it on. Thank you, Jody. It's and just I know you two will protect these rings over the years, I'm confident you'll protect the commitments that you've made to one another today. Well, everyone, this is the exciting part because it is with great pleasure that I can now declare you to be husband and wife. Ashton, you may now kiss your wife. We want you to make some noise. I would like to introduce our new Mr. and Mrs. 